In this video, I'm gonna cover eight multivariate testing best practices. Conducting multivariate testing is exciting. Using the right tool, you can quickly develop different designs for your website, direct visitors to each of the designs, and watch the conversion for each of the variations. Now, done incorrectly, multivariate testing can result in a loss of man hours, money, and even worse, lowering your conversion rates. The following are eight best practices you must follow when conducting a multivariate test. Number one, set expectations correctly. Many marketers start testing because they heard or watched a case study where a company achieved incredible increases in conversion rates. They jump into conversion optimization and testing looking for large and significant uplifts. But this excitement slows, slowly disappears as they are not able to achieve the results which they were hoping for. Wrong expectations translate into disappointment and lost investment. Setting reasonable goals to increase conversion rates will save you a lot of heartburn. Now, there are two ways you can do this. And the first approach, you can think of a reasonable annual goal for your testing program. A good testing program should be able to achieve 30 to 40% increase in conversion rates easily, and this is very conservative. Is a 30% or a 40% increase in conversion rates enough to cover all the costs related to conversion optimization? That's something that you want to think about. In the second approach, you calculate the total investment for the testing program. Now, this total should include the time for both marketing and development teams. It should also include the testing software investment. What is a reasonable return on the investment? What should you expect? Are you looking to make $3 or $5 or $10 for every dollar you invest in the conversion rate optimization program? Let's say that the total investment comes up to $80,000 and that you are expecting to get $3 for every dollar that you've invested. That means you will have to increase your sales, your online sales, by $240,000 to justify your testing program. Is that $240,000 achievable? What kind of increase in conversion rates you will have to achieve to get to that $240,000? Second best practice, understand your technical limitations. Most conversion optimization programs fail because project owners did not assign proper technical resources to ensure that implementation is done quickly and effectively. After 10 years of working with organizations across the globe and in so many different industries, this continues to be the biggest reason we see conversion rate optimization projects fail. You must allocate proper resources to be able to handle one to two tests per month. That will require you to change some priorities for other projects, but that is the only way that you make sure your conversion optimization project will succeed. Third, determine the correct pages to test. Some companies conduct testing in a very random way. One month, they test the home page. The next month, uh, they are testing the product pages on e-commerce website. The third month, they are testing the category pages. Successful programs require investing the time initially to determine which pages of the website are leaking visitors, which pages stand the most improvement, and which pages should be left alone. Prioritizing the different pages on the website and coming up with a conversion roadmap is a must. Good conversion roadmaps typically cover four to six months, spanning anywhere from uh, eight to 15 different tests. Four, determine the sample size. Now, the fact that your website gets 100,000 or 500,000 visitors does not, does not mean that all of these visitors will go through a particular test. You must look closely at your analytics to determine the total number of unique visitors, unique visitors, that will go through the page or class of pages, for example, product pages or category pages for a particular period. Five, start with a hypothesis. A hypothesis takes your test from a gambling exercise into a meaningful marketing study. A hypothesis is a predictive statement about possible problems on a page or a visitor flow through your website, which we will be testing or removing. 
and the fact that fixing those problems will increase your conversion rates. A sample hypothesis from a test we conducted recently on a subscription page for a content website was presenting visitors with less obstacles, less noise, and a cleaner design will lead to a greater conversion rate across all subscription packages. A good hypothesis will make you think more about your online visitors, what they are struggling with on a particular page, and where they should go to next, and finally, how to address any of their fears, uncertainties, and doubts. Six, limit the number of variations. Some companies avoid the process of analysis by testing millions of designs against the original. And there is actually multivariate testing software out there that allows them to do so. Now, this approach of throwing things at the wall rarely works. And if it works once or in one test, it fails in the long run. You should avoid letting the software do the thinking instead of you. What you are looking for are sustainable and repeatable results. The more variations you introduce to a test, the less you can link the impact of these variations on each other. 7. Retest the winning design against the control. A good practice after a test concludes is to run your original page against the winning design in a head-to-head one-on-one test. This will help you ensure and solidify your conclusion of the winning page and that the testing data was not polluted by any factors, whether external or internal. 8. Look for lessons learned. The real power of conversion optimization happens when you discover marketing insights from your test that you can deploy and apply across verticals and across channels. Always be on the lookout for actionable marketing insights from any type of test that you conduct. This is an excellent way to plan your next test. With that, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and happy testing.